Well, hello everybody. Laguna back here for the next section of Dark Souls. Um, I'm kind of picking off from what I, I, I raged yesterday. I really did rage. Um, holy hell, the, um, the Four Kings is a really difficult boss battle. It just, it's difficult. That's all I can say about it. Uh, following. And honestly, at this point, I am just trying to get through the four kings, and that is my my goal for today. That that's it. Uh, I need to go down the stairs here. This is just I don't know. Ooh, 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 ooh. God, could you imagine if I died? Oh yeah. By the way, I have been trying to level, not level up a little bit, but I have been running through the. Um, I can do this. And Orlando, just to get a few more things. Um, I did end up getting this new spear. Demon Spear. It's apparently got the, the most range and durability of all the spears. Uh, it does 120 plus 100. Unfortunately, my lightning spear still does more damage, so... Yikes. Uh, we're also going to set this up the ladder. Now, the problem that I have is these transient curses. I'm going to need to carry more, but I need to go to the Undead Merchant. Oh, crap. Ugh. The Four Kings is just... It, it just bothers me that you can kill one of them and... It's still just, like, the more of them spawn. Like, I know there's four kings, but there shouldn't be four kings and you kill one and then another one spawns. Like, that just really peeved me off in the last video. Yeah, peeved. Yeah, I said peeved. But, um... That's a, a conversation for later. When I need to not focus as much. Uh, develop... Development-wise, that is a bit of a flaw in this game, by the way improper um, hard to word my argument here here we go yeah here we go These guys, by the way, are a little bit of an a-hole. Uh, I made a point, by the way, not to level up. Just buying all the... ...spells and sorceries. Um, basically, anything that I could find that I had... ...not bought before, I bought. Just so I can kind of do a bit of a cleanup for... ...the next section. Because I, I, I followed a checklist, and I just want to make sure that I... ...was getting everything I could. Uh, there is one... Miracle or Sorcery? Emit Force. That I missed from Sigmire or Katarina because I accidentally said no, I didn't help him at Erlando. So, playthrough number two, that's basically the missable. So, full disclosure, I missed it. Yeah. Full disclosure, though, I have not died between videos. So, that is at least a plus. I am not dying at useless shit. I did almost die, though. Because I decided it would be a smart idea, and it was not a smart idea, to go an entire circuit through Anolando and taking those catwalks up to where those archers were from before. So I almost died. But I didn't die. So. Hooray! Points for honesty. Ooh, Jesus. Crap, I hate when these ghosts come out in, at the same time as these skeleton things.
Oh shit. Oh, fuck off. There we go. Now let's pray to the gods that I'm fine here. Oh, Jesus. Stop. Now, there was something that was here before, and it was really... I guess it kind of bothers me. But that there's this red thing that I fought last video, and I just I don't know idea what it was. Just that it dropped something. Comfort. That's funny. Weakness lightning. Better be weakness lightning. Really? You're not gonna let me hit you? Oh, my transient curse. Of course that expired. Of course it did. Cool, well let's go. Actually, question. Are there any summoning signs down below? Because I could really use a hand with this. Apparently not. This is a hard yikes from me. There we go. This is a long-ass stairwell, by the way. ring. Yes. Because the Covenant of Artorius. Um. Crap. Actually, I want to, I want to double check the... F ah, screw it. Eh. I, I want to be surprised. I don't want to be surprised, but I'll be surprised. Because I heard there's a lot of things like that uh, increase your defense that are better. Um. Oh, actually, the grass or dragon crest. Which one do I have on? Crest shield. Dragon crest gives quest. Blah, 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 blah. Dragon crest gives more fire defense, but no magic defense. Like almost no magic defense. Um, so anything better for magic defense, shield wise? Something that is not Havel's shield. No, but I did also deposit Havel Shield in my inventory because I just didn't want to deal with that. So, here we go, I guess. Jesus. Fuck off.
Okay, what the hell is going on? Stop it! Okay, which Beatrice is already fucking dead. See, this is just an unfair boss fight just all around, like... We got these stupid magic... Fuck off! Like, I can't even fucking see anything! Fuck off. One down. Stop it. Okay, fucking crate, would you goddamn move? See, they keep sp oh, that's what it is. They keep fucking splitting like assholes. Okay, fucking no. I'm gonna die. I'm actually gonna die here. Stop with the homing missiles. Can't fucking do anything. I killed one. Oh, fuck that shit. Just fuck all of this. Like, okay, I don't even know how I was alive there. But, like, fuck this entire battle because it just makes no fucking sense that you can have four kings and five fucking spawn. Okay, I need to look up a strategy. Now, there might be some stuff... Actually, I, I'm not going to look up a strategy. What I will do is I will see if I can attune some better magic. Um, now. Remove these pyromancies. Powerful, but also slower sorcery. Difficult to use due to a long cooldown and limitation number of castings. No shit. Um, our strong soul arrow. 20 uses, we may as well. Uh, what else do we got in here? Sorcery for casters who wield swords. Augmentation of a shield. Shields augmented by magic are resistant to magic attacks and have higher stability. Which probably makes it most po possible to challenge powerful foes with a small shield. Gotta do it. Um. I'm gonna use so many friggin' humanity and it's not gonna be fun. And I have no more transient curses either. And now instead of this... Uh, I'm assuming I'm gonna need the... This. Yes. Cool. Now. Transient Curses. I forget how much they cost. A little afraid to remember how much they cost. Probably up in the thousands. Oh, 
come on, stop that. And you over here. Hi. Bye. Please let it be like 400 gold, or 400 souls. I hate mechanics like this, by the way, where I have to use an item to curse myself in order to get anywhere. Cause like, just fuck that, just fuck those mechanics. Yeah, yeah, I didn't forget about you. Just let me buy some transient curses here. Four thousand. No, fuck you. You are taking the piss. Well, I need at least 4,000 souls to do this, so let's... Let's get our 4,000. Ooh! Well, we're almost there. We're halfway there. Well, we're a quarter of the way there. The song just doesn't sound the same when you say a quarter of the way there, living on a prayer. I mean, on the plus side, though, at least this is, um... Only 4,000 souls, not, like, 20,000, because that would just be ridiculous. This is probably not the most effective, efficient way to get souls, but here we are. I just need one transient curse, because at least that way I can kind of go in, fight. I'll fight the ghosts as I go through, and hopefully they'll drop more transient curses. This is bothering me that this boss is wrecking me so much. Like, this isn't even funny. Like, this is morbidly terrible. Ugh. At least maybe if I quit the magic shield, it'll be fine.
Ooh. I thought it took care of that fucker. Hey, his tail grew back. Ain't that the darndest thing. Fuck him and his tail. Wouldn't it be funny, though, if the um, Minotaur demon that was up here also respawned? Because that would... Uh, mm -hmm. Valid question, what is in here? Wait, right, this goes to the Darkroot Basin. That makes sense now. Cool. Actually, I would probably get more souls here, so let's... of souls. Epic. I wonder why those things don't even drop anything, though. They do drop like oh blue titanite. That is good to know. That's really good to know. Um <sighs> Bother, bother, bother. So one thing I do want to mention as well is that the um, the four kings are not the four lords, because they mentioned in the opening video, Seat the Scaleless, Nito the Undead, all of those names, those are not actually the four kings. The four kings, I don't even really fully know the lore behind them. Um, I think they were the four previous owners of the Lord Vessel, or the four previous Kings of the Flame, or whatever you want to call them. Yeah, this is the way I want to go. This is the way. Come on, I need one transient curve so I can kill some ghosty ghosts. There's the 4,000. There we go. Man, I didn't realize how easy this is when you level up. That's actually nice. You know, minus the death and, you know, dismemberment and 
constant disappointment. Other than that, it's 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 not bad. Could be hella worse. I could also do it without saying the word hella. But there we have made a loop and Come on, undead lady. Not actually. Not literally, I mean. Yeah, yeah, I did not forget about you. You whore. Um... Maybe some fire will work, too. Actually, maybe they're not weak against lightning. Maybe they take more damage from fire, and I can, like, fire enchant my club. Wait, you're alive? I thought I killed you. Okay, now I'm a little confused. I don't think I rested at a bonfire between then and now. So I'm not entirely sure why that did what it did, but okay. Rest first. Reset the world, including my Estus flasks. We will equip into the item slot one transient curse. Oh, I just realized I have more of those pine resins. No, I am relying on at least one ghost to drop a transient curse. Otherwise, I'm kind of screwed. It's kind of a yikes moment anyway, but hey, here we are. Now, theoretically as well, I should be able to just roll into the pit and then Beatrix, Beatrice, sorry, will just follow me. I'm hoping that's the case as well. So that way I don't have to waste another transient curse trying to kill that one ghost. But I somehow managed to get one hit off, and then he was like, nope. Asshole. Anyway. I'm also going to look at my overall um, status. Stats. So here we are here. Need arm. Well, you're not wrong. The transient curse is technically an arm, so good on you for that. Um, I need the Artorius ring, but the Hornet ring? Eh. Actually, let's boost item discovery while I'm doing this transient curse stuff. Because if this will increase the rate at which transient curses drop, then uh, to that I say boom ya. Yeah. Could you imagine, though, if, like, you had to use transient curses to fight these things and you could only find them in the world, like, you couldn't actually buy them from anywhere? That would be the biggest kick in the ass of life. Now, I don't want to spend half this video looking for transient curses, either. Okay, stop it. No. 
Ah, there we go. Two transient curses. Now, one thing I want to quickly do. Where's that black eye ring? There. Just while I'm on the way to the boss, I want to make sure I'm recovering as much HP as I can without using my Estus flasks. Oh, you poor. Really? You're not going to move? There you go. Hey there, saucy minx. Now I realize as well that I'm going to end up using one of my transient curses. Titanite junk, not bad. But at least I want to, like, I, I have two transient curses in my inventory. So at least if I use one, I still have one left. I don't have to, like, constantly do that loop to get back to where I was. In terms of souls and all that jazz to quote Chicago. Um, so that's at least one thing you want to keep in mind while you're doing these runs, is if you are going to keep doing this over and over again, at least make sure you get a couple of transient curses as you go through. So if you do have to restart, you don't have to do what I did and restart from the, from the bottom. Now if I'm lucky, which I will not be, I'll be able to get this done like on this try. Nope. Oh, Jesus Christ, I didn't expect you to be there already. Not gonna lie, that that uh, that scared me. That, that got me. There's probably gonna be another one. Oh, you hoe bag! There you are. You saucy fucking mix. If I can't interact with you, how come you can interact with me? Fuck off. Now I am gonna quickly dash through.
Okay, I don't like that these... Stop it. Fucking Christ, would you fuck off? Hate these fucking ghosts. Stop! Fuck these ghosts up the ass. Oh, really? You're just gonna fucking fly away now? Hey, how about you come back here and fight me like a fucking real person? Only without the AI of a real person, because... Really? Would you fucking Christ it? God damn it, my spear went through the fucking sprite. Hey. Fucking hit them, you bitch. Jesus. Like, what is... Like, is this just like a 50% chance to hit them when you're up close with us? Because this is ridiculous. My spear has obviously gone through the character sprite and did nothing. That is bullshit. And I'm not even kidding. Like, that is actual... Okay, would you... Hate this. Hate this, hate this, hate this, hate this. Stupid fucking area. Part of me wants to pop a humanity instead of a Estus Flask, but... So 177 versus, there's my club, 130. So I do more damage with the lightning, but if they're weak against fire, it's a trade-off. So I could technically do more damage with my club, I just don't know if I will. And therein lies the conundrum. Okay, I am going to Google the Four Kings. Because if I can do more damage with the club, then that's just icing on the cake. Google Chrome takes forever to load, by the way. So, I'm ready for that. Now, I did look up one strategy last night, and it was, like, the, the dumbest thing ever, by the way. The uh, the strategy basically said, aggro all the four kings and run as close to them as possible so they don't shoot magic. Which is fine, except for the fact that four of them have giant spears wailing on you as much as they can. You can't really strafe left and right to dodge things. Um, Beatrice is supposed to apparently hammer on them with magic the entire time. She dies in, like, four hits, so she's fucked. Like, none of this fight is okay, and I don't like it. Four kings strategy. Let's try it. Apply iron flesh. Well, I apparently picked the wrong spell. Aggressively attack with a two-handed weapon. Make sure Vestas was two or three, blah, blah, blah. Well, if iron flesh is what's needed, I'm fucked. Before we get started, you have a covenant of Artorius ring, blah blah blah, boss strategy. It's a game of two extremes, either headed with your most powerful weapons with the highest poise armor in the game, or go as light as possible for a fast roll. Good middle ground, equip Havel's ring, which I apparently can't get because I killed Havel through the wall. Alongside some decent mid-range armor, such as the Elite Knight set. In addition to this, you must defeat yourself. Sif. Quick Chrome of Victorious. If you remove it, you'll die immediately. As many healing as possible. There are no bonfires in New London Ruins. This is a fight that's all but laying damage very fast. Two hand your weapon for most of the fight if you're playing a light build, and bring a 100% physical shield if you are tanking. I have been doing that. 
There is some bad depth perception due to the arena. No shit. The boss has some vertical and horizontal swings that can be rolled through a tank with a shield. Go into the fight to spect correctly. This boss also has a diagonal swing, which you can avoid by hitting right when it swings. The melee attacks here are pretty simple. Just keep your eyes on which direction the sword is going to dodge accordingly. Be warned, just staying close will also leave you open to the life drain grab. Okay, so stay close, but don't stay close. Thanks for that guide. Fucking guides. The fight gets more complex is in the ranged and area of effect attacks. One of the most devastating attacks to be hit by is AoE Blast. Which I... Yeah, because they do that... Thing. I have seen that. There are homing projectiles that can deal a lot of damage, but you'll be able to run past these and head straight for the boss. It's more of an opportunity than a deadly attack. Bullshit. I want at range, use pyromancies. Then as you use the boss to come closer, then deal damage after you tank or dodge hits. When defeated, one of the kings will evaporate. Oh! So when defeated, one of the kings, it'll evaporate into a white light. When you see this, two-hand and attack the light as much as you can, as it will bring the unified health bar down. Upgrade your weapons, enchant your weapons, lay the damage on, nightmare will soon be over. I didn't realize I had to attack the light afterwards, that's actually a weird and interesting strategy. Um, so four kings. Let me just take a look at the Dark Souls Wikipedia here. Control F, weak. They appear to have some weakness to fire like many undead, so using a fire weapon may be a good choice. That's all I need to know. Now it says the Chloranthi Ring is actually good to use. I don't have the Chloranthi Ring. So that gives me 50 physical defense. That gives me 25 to magic, flame, and fire. Mostly they use physical, so I'll stick with that for now. No, it did say f fire. I wish I had Iron Flesh now. We're hoping for the best on this one. We are going in like guns blazing with a... Ooh. With a club of all things. So God only knows how this is going to pan out. Okay, stop wheeling on Beatrix, please. Beatrice. Okay, I do better damage with this stupid fucking spear at this point.
Don't like this. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off! Jesus. You know what? Fuck this. Just, just fuck this entirely. I fucking hate this game. Fucking Christ.